this chase mean? <clears throat> I remember opening my eyes underwater at one point and it was luminous yellow. And that was like one of the later jumps. And I was like, this thing is full of wee. Definitely, I've been swimming around making jokes in wee. That was definitely a low point. Right. The idea for the, the whole thing was gonna be, you know, I think on the page it said something like, Staff runs around the house chasing the pigeon. And in the process of doing so, he manages to leave everything kind of untouched apart from three, he smashes three TVs. It got to the morning of the shoot and um, someone took me aside and said, FYI for the big pigeon stunt this afternoon, uh, the uh, guy is very precious about his pigeon. Um, so ideally, we'd really just get one shot of it flying through shot um, and then you run after it, and I think that's all we're going to be able to get. He arrived with the pigeon, and everyone was like, you're right, mate, looking forward to meeting it, or whatever. So we did the shot that they had in mind where we, <laughs> where I ran through, and I heard the pigeon guy say under his breath, is that it? I don't think he likes being referred to as the pigeon guy. There was like a red bucket that it would fly into. That was its cue. It knew that it had to fly into a red bucket. I think a noise or something startled it and it flew off course and went and landed on a picture frame. Someone went to shout cut as in like, like the pigeon's gone mad, let's cut. And I was like, please, 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 can we just keep rolling? Just, just, just see what happens. And basically everything that ended up in the episode is what came out of that take. The fear in everyone's eyes when it got to the end of the take, like when, when I was like, okay, I think I'm done. I think I've done all my chasing. I remember everyone in the crew going like that and looking at the pigeon guy to be like, is he gonna sue us or kill us? And he was like, like out of a film, he was like, <laughs> why weren't you doing that the whole time? That was funny, the other stuff was boring. He's uh, gonna be my best man uh, if I get married. <laughs> That's not what this is about, okay. What are you doing? Damn it. Oh, get it out. Is it on me? Is that on me now? No, it's on is, my bed. No, it's on me. Get the pigeon off me. It's not on you. Where it is? I'm going to get it with the... Come back here, sir, uh, young lad. I honestly feel like I've never felt more alive than that. I feel like I should just have a pigeon around sometimes to do this with. I feel like it was the happiest I ever was in my life. Hey, Rick. No. Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm very serious. I actually come and fix my door. You're pushing your way into my house. No, but about the thing about us jumping in the canal, 50 pounds, is, is that serious? Obviously not, no. I think early, early on in the process, I learned that, you know, you have to save ideas on the off chance you get other series. This is one I've had on the back burner for ages. Born out of me and uh, the director of series three and a very good friend of mine, Andrew Gaynords, and we went for a walk together a beautiful walk along the coastline and we were walking along a pier and there was this sort of old Greek guy sat there he'd been drinking and as we passed him he said um, I give you $50 jump in the water and we were like like in the middle of a, like a real heart to heart with each other we were like obviously not and why would you give up 50 dollars to see that why do you want us to jump in the water like what even is that but as we walked away we just laughed for about just a, one of those deep, deep laughs just of like how pointless an endeavor that would be. And also just like, I think the thing that was getting us was just like how silent an event it would be and how like underwhelming it would be to just see this person disappear in the water and then just have them come out like, yeah, wet now. That was really good. Here's your money. See you later. And I think what the main thing we really wanted to execute with this, which I hope we did, is just a feeling of like pointlessness. Do I have to do it? No. No, no. Obviously <laughs> not. Oh God, he didn't take his jacket off. <laughs> I mean, what can you say? <laughs> I probably had to do it about seven times. I remember opening my eyes underwater at one point and it was luminous yellow. And that was like one of the later jumps. And I was like, this thing is full of wee. Definitely. Definitely I've been swimming around making jokes in wee. So there's loads of stuff that got cut out of me, like splashing around, pretending I was like being chased by a fish, but that's not good comedy really, is it? <laughs> the worst feeling in the world was um, getting out 
and uh, it was sodden, but they, we had to reset it. We did all the second jumps like quite a few times because I was still wet, but we had to do the first one again, but we only had one more shot at it. And we wanted to get the wide angle, which we actually ended up using. I think it was that shot. I was wearing a wetsuit under my suit and I had to get in the shower and get all the mud and wee off of me and then put the wetsuit back on and then put a suit over that. I think that was, that was definitely a low point. I'll no, I'm not doing it again. I'm not performing in putty, right, man. No, 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 don't it. go. Don't go. I'm... Let me think about it. Obviously, don't do it again. Okay, so... Oh, yes. This is arguably the maddest scene in the history of the show. Welcome for Internet Television. Speak... Greek speak, it's interviews, politics, celebration, upa, and gossip. Our guest today is Scandal from the World of Lettings Agency. After series one, I was doing press for the show. We wanted to, we wanted to promote it on some Greek networks, so we did a, a bit of a promotion on, on a Greek YouTube channel, which was so much fun. It was, it was amazing, and it just felt like the, the, like the true promotion for the show. It's, it's like it was from the world of the show. It, kind of, it was like it just all kind of merged. But when I arrived, I was wearing a blue denim shirt because I, I'd seen the show and I knew they had green screen. I was like, well, avoid green, but they had a, a blue screen which I sort of, I hadn't quite twigged. Well, I mean, you, you know what happened. It, my head was like Vassos's is in this. It was like a, it was like a balloon on a, on a, on a sort of string of buttons. I just hadn't, cause I've never seen a green screen be blue before. I just went with it. And then like we filmed for like two minutes and the cameraman was like, I don't know. We kind of like, as if there was a chance we might have been able to carry on like that. Anyway, um, they were like, so can you go out and buy yourself some clothes? <laughs> So I went out and I bought myself a, I bought myself a t-shirt. I think the interview exists somewhere, but in it I'm just like, I'm I still have like a laugh in my cheeks for the whole interview, just at what went down and just the thought of if that had gone out. True news. A girl make videos of all of the Haringey letting agents being naughty. The one of our guests, Michael Eagle, got 80,000 views on YouTube. Now that's for yours. That kind of mad, desperate attempt people have to show their support for something without actually doing anything to help. It's like the kind of, like, like staff jumping in a canal is like, that's not helping your tenants. <laughs> it just felt like, it just feels like it's so often the case that it's like, the action of help is so disconnected from, from the actual cause itself. And I just sort of, I love kind of taking like arguably quite a serious bit of subject matter and skewing it through the kind of world of the show and, and these characters. I just want to say, yeah, right? right? I know some people are uh, thinking letting agents are naughty or whatever, because we've been naughty or whatever, but I just want to say a comment, which is, what's the point? Do you know what I mean? What's the point in filming me, making me look like an idiot, making me feel stupid, from my dad, ashamed of me. What's the point? What's the point? What's the point? I love what's the point as an expression. I've been trying to squeeze it in the show for ages. I feel like at school it was like everyone's catchphrase was did anything. Like, what's the point? I remember someone kicked my football when I was playing football. I mean, the, one of the three times I played football in my childhood. And I went, as you do, what's the point? And he said, the point is, I kicked the ball and my mind was blown forever. There is a response to what's the point. But in time, I've discovered that that doesn't make sense either. Okay, oh, now on to something a little bit sentimental. I want to do a song for them from America. It's worth noting, um, Christos has like a pop career in, um, in Greece. He has an amazing singing voice and I would YouTube him. And it's like really like cool stuff. It's really like, you know, the, his music videos and stuff are really like interesting and, oh God, I love that guy. That's how much I need you. And I can stand you. Must everything you do make me want to smile. And then I like it for a while. But you won't let me You upset me boy And then you kiss my lips All of a sudden I forget Jimmy Rasunis, who plays Stephen there, who's obviously 
so brilliant. Him sitting next to him always reminds me of like Kermit the Frog or something. There's something quite like Muppet-esque about it. Oh, I was I, I was so hopeful we'd be able to get the rights to uh, Hate How Much I Love You Boy because it just felt perfect for the world of the show to not try and do like a really kind of edgy song and like embrace what the kind of music that these characters would probably like, i.e. kind of like, you know, like poppy R&B and stuff like that. But having Christos sing it, I mean, I just couldn't have asked for anything more the way he delivered it. It's just amazing. And like Aaron Baron Cohen, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen's brother, uh, did music for all the series and he's just a genius. And he did the arrangement to make it bazooki-ish and, and Greek. And it's so subtle and lovely. I was very, very moved. I think Rihanna was, or Neo, whoever, I don't know who wrote the lyrics to it, but I think they, I think they had a feeling there'd be a sitcom about a Greek letting agency that this would lend itself to in a few years time. Um, just an inkling, Riri. Must everything you do make me wanna smile And then I like it for a while But you won't let me You upset me boy And then you kiss my lips All of a sudden I forget I pushed the idea that we don't choreograph anything. We just know the order in which people come along. I kind of feel like, <laughs> as a gang, we're not natural dancers. Well, we're maybe, maybe a couple. And I was like, if there's any kind of inkling that you can spot in someone's eye that they might be trying to remember a step or something, it might just blow the lid off of it a little bit. So I really wanted to keep it as like stupid and and like funny like comedy dancing as possible because it's so like it's drowning in kind of sincerity so I, I wanted to kind of level it out with a feeling of naturalistic of the moment uh, in the moment dancing uh, rather I love you beyond the reason why can it just right and I hate how much I I mean, props to Ellie White for throwing those shapes without any like decision making beforehand. I went to uni with Ellie White, so we all started doing uh, our comedy together in a sketch group. We take shows up to the fringe. I still find it so mad to see um, that we're like doing it on camera now. It's so strange. It's lovely stuff. Love you, boy. I can stand how much I need you, and I hate how. I love you, boy, but I just can't let you go. Can't try. No, 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 no. Thank you for watching. I have been and still am Jamie Dimitriou, and this has been the action replay of Stat Let's Flats.